Crouch, tiger. I sense a hidden dragon. Hello everybody, this is uh, Oxlav doing my first audio commentary. I'm going to be doing it on a 2 vs 2 game. It'll be me and Strife against Garby and Happy. Um, so once you get that queued up to the 130 mark at 1x speed, from my viewpoint with Fog of War on. And while you're doing that, um, I'll just talk a little, about, a little bit about this game. Uh, we're double night off against uh, Garby Happy playing Orc Undead. And this is uh, this is actually one of our harder matchups is against a good Orc Undead team. And this is because Orc Undead um, with Spirit Link Crypt Fiends can have a really strong tier 2 push against Mass Hunts, which is what we normally like to play as Mass Hunts. Um, and the reason the Spirit Link helps out so much is because while the Orc units don't do much damage to the Huntresses, the Crypt Fiends do. And when you're migrating in that fight, um, the Crypt Fiends are the ones that do the damage, and the Orc units are tough to kill. So you really want to put your Huntresses on those Crypt Fiends. But when they use Spirit Link, um, it effectively doubles those Crypt Fiends' hit points, because the Orc units are going to be really tough to kill anyway. And they're going to be taking a lot of that damage through the Spirit Link. Um, and if you combine that, that Spear Link with some good positioning and some slowing spells like Frost Nova or Impale or a TC Stun or anything like that, it's going to be, you're going to lose a lot of Huntresses trying to kill any of those Crypt Fiends, and so it's it's almost an impossible fight if they play it well. Um, anyway, I hope you have it all queued up to the 130 mark. And then, um, when you start this, I can sort of say what Mean Strife can be doing about that, you know. The weakness of mass hunts against orc uh, undead problem. So it's at uh, 130 mark at 1x speed in my viewpoint. Fog of War on. Let's start in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Unpause. 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136. Alright. As you can see, Strife scouting with his first wisp, and we see undead. Now, no wood. What a lot of people like to do is, as soon as they see the blight, they can move that wisp back, so the undead doesn't know that they scouted them that early. And know right now they know that Strife's at the bottom because of the time that, that scout came. But we wanted to get a full view of his base to see what type of build he was doing, because that's really important for us. We're pretty adaptive players, and we saw that he was going uh, early fiend, uh, late hero, probably late tech build. And so we know that his tier 2 is going to be later, so we're a little more confident in sort of the late early game. Um, because we know he's going to be late on coming out with statues, and they're really not going to be able to fight without a statue out. And then we see the orcs going just a classic Blade Master Grunt build. Um, he's not doing any TC or funny stuff we would have seen. Um, we would have seen a TC hang around the base probably. And we, we know that the Wisp and the Blade Master head down, so we know he went up to this merchant. So we just go for the creep jack. He brought a grunt out to help him creep, which you ordinarily would do, but it's kind of bad against uh, a double night off team that you probably suspect you know priestess keeper. And the only thing priestess keeper can do is harass at the start. If they know that your ally is doing a late hero attack, they're not going to harass the dead at the start because and then and then not just going to be in his base. He can't really do anything to un untend in his base. So I mean that was pretty predictable that we we come and get him unless. We were totally clueless, so that's kind of a mistake by him to send that ground out. It did cost, um, you know, strife some of his hero's health, but a couple of Winwell solves that for free. Meanwhile, we each got, you know, I got all the experience, six experience, and, you know, tuner gold down for him, which is pretty big, pretty big hit for just a Moonwell or two. So, you know, now we, we scared Grubby a bit, and he's probably going to be sitting at Blade Mask to creep another merchant, but it'll be alone and we won't be able to do much about it. So we're looking for Happy. We have that scout was right by his merchant, and we know he went there, which is really good for us. He should have really gone up to Grubby's base and crept up uh, either the green by Grubby or all the way up to that top merc camp. Because uh, because of the feed build, I, I did this drive. He has a lot, a lot of hunts already and combined with Entangle. Um, he's sure to either lose, you know, Fiend, Hero, or at least TP. The Hero is the one lagging behind, so that's the one we, we're going to snag. Um, we didn't try any fancy surround, we didn't really need to, not with uh, Entangle and Huntresses. As you can see, um, earlier I mentioned that Mass Hunts is really weak against uh, the mid-game Orc Undead. 
And this is why if you look at me, I have one Huntress. Uh, I'm not massing hunts. I, we sort of got them to think we were massing hunts and we were playing aggressively. But really, uh, I have expansion that's three-fourths way done and my tech's about one-fourth way done. So I'm really doing, putting all my resources into tech and ex uh, tech and expansion and barely making any units early game. And the fact that I'm barely making any units early game, we're still pushing them around. Um, is sort of a, a testament to, to how strong hunts are early and I'm a little bit of weak play about them. They should be sticking together early game. If we were to mass hunts, then they wouldn't be able to fight us early game anyway. So they might as well just spread out and, and try to try to hope we don't find them. But against this build we're doing, if they stuck together, we couldn't do anything to them. I mean, we have five hunts against. They would have three runs of three crypt fiends with you know skeleton rods, death claw, and blade master, and boots, and we couldn't really fight that. Um, on that they had good positioning. But anyway, so we hit Garby's base because Happy doesn't have a TP. We want to get some fiend kills early to take a sting out of any later fight. Um, so Happy runs up to help Grubby out. Uh, unfortunately, since he didn't have a TP, he had to run. We just turn around and we're going to use Entangle to, to kill all of his guys. A little bit of miss micro by uh, by us losing those two hunts. We could have One of them we hid and they just dusted and another one just sat there and died. And both of those we could have just ran. You can't run into Huntresses. And then uh, Strife passed my hero a bit, so it gets killed, and then he gets his hero surrounded. So I mean, all these all these bad micro mistakes, but it's really just fun. I mean, even though we, we micro poorly, just that uh, that ability to outmaneuver them, because if he lost a TP and we just jumped down dead, and the orc wasn't there to protect them at first, uh, we killed four Kirkfiends. So even though, yeah, we made some mistakes, we lost two hunts, I lost my my priestess and strife lost TP. Um, that just means the game's not totally over. Um, if it was like you know Moon Remind outmaneuvering them like that, it would have been totally over. Cause they wouldn't lost anything there, and, and Happy got clean wiped. But um, because of those micro mistakes, uh, while we still went ahead in that fight, um, I think losing those four crit means is much worse than than what happened to us. Cause we still have an army and they don't have they don't have anything. Um, you know, they're still a little bit in the game. So right now we just crept on my expansion. Uh, we, I actually heard that the Blade Master, you know, you hear that Windwalk sound. And so I dust and we put a lot of damage on him. Um, we look at his man, he's got 170 life and 55 man after that entangle focus. So we know he, he's not going to come back and cancel that gold mine or else he's just going to die. So I mean, yeah, if he wants to, if he wants to trade canceling the gold mine once for nine, that's fine. So we don't really have to camp the gold mine like sometimes you would camp it a little bit or you just keep a couple hunts there. Um, so right now we're just going to the middle. This is a good thing to creep now. Um, we're stronger, and we want to clear the middle because hunters are really fast. And if you clear the middle, then you have this big middle ground of no wood. You can just sort of move around and use your hunter speed to get good position on your enemies. But if the middle creeps are still there, then you know, you try to do that, and you, especially if you're sort of careless like, like I am, you're going to end up bringing hunts into the creeps, and it's not going to be pretty. So meanwhile, um, Strife's starting his tech also to try to catch up a little bit. He stayed tier 1 a while to get a very, very strong army to defend us early game. He's got some upgrades on his Huntresses. I'm going to be going like a mass damage army. Um, I need to be getting a lot of archers with some drives and some dudes at the town um, as support units. And I got a a Alchemist, which is the best DPS here in the game as well. So we're going to be combining, you know, that uh, Acid Bomb, Fairy Fire, and some a lot of a lot of archers with True Shot to just uh, win without micro, basically. <laughs> um, you know, I could do drives or something, but. That's a really big classic mistake is that people transition from mass huntresses into dryads. And that's really a just a terrible idea. Um oh look, my hero's gonna get killed there. I'll, I'll explain why it's a terrible idea in a second. Um so my hero's gonna get uh get killed here. A little bit careless by me, I should have put my huntresses next to it to protect it. And then I could have uh blocked this run and ran out. But even though he got my priestess, it's really not that bad because if you notice how much damage output our units have with that alchemist and a couple dots is that 
In just a very short time to Grubby to kill my priestess, his guys are all beat up. I mean, he's only got one grunt that's really, really gonna be of much use, and the rest are all damaged. And that means that this is like the ideal time for him to push before Expo kicks in. You know, he's uh, he's got a statue, he's got a lich. Um, they should have a walker, but uh, I guess Grubby's not going walkers this game, which I think is kind of a mistake. But. <coughs> Anyways, so the reason why mass uh, mass strides are really bad is because if you look at huntresses, you know in that big fight, because of their unarmored uh, unarmored uh, armor and they only have 600 life, they're really gonna die very quickly. That's a disadvantage of huntresses. The advantage is they do a lot of damage. If you compare them to grunts, it looks like they do the same damage, but huntresses really do 50% more damage because of that bounce attack. And also they're gonna be doing a lot of damage because uh, a lot of the enemy's units